Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I'm proud to announce that Versify is fully available and publicly available to every single one of you guys live right now. If you guys don't know what Versify is, Versify is an AI software specifically designed for UEFN and Verse Code to help you guys with your map making journey, which will in doing so make you guys more money online with your Forte maps. So to celebrate the global release of Versify, I thought of no better idea but to react to your games while using my AI software Versify to help you guys and give you guys pointers to do better inside of your map making journey. Because throughout this video, I'm gonna be laying down the exact fundamentals and principles that I've used myself so you guys can replicate the same success that I have had. If you guys want to join Versify, click the link in the description, or if you want your games to be reacted to in the next video, click the link in the description and join my Discord. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first game that we're going to check out is by a fan and viewer of mine called Flaming called Gang City RP. By the looks of the thumbnail, it looks very, very promising. As you guys can see, it's very colorful. I like the weapons at the bottom. I like the five stars to symbolize like you're in GTA. The game has amassed a total player count of only 44 players, and it's only made $81. Obviously, that's not the best, not the greatest, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here. We're going to check out this game. Okay, so we are inside of Flaming's GTA rp and honestly huge gold reward in 30 minutes is not satisfying at all i hate how it's just on my screen it's like obnoxious to see the text is not good the font is not good but i do like the objective and missions that we have also we have no challenges on the top left here usually in the tycoons they have like a waiting area where there's daily gift box and it tells you like how close you are to really unlocking new things but it looks like we have like wrenches over here i definitely want to check this out and go over here but where's the role playing i know there's a limitation of only 30 players you could have had 50 to have more inclusivity but we have a wrench here is that to upgrade and fix my car what am i supposed to be doing am i supposed to just be killing people okay so we have guards here okay so we open up here and it looks like we have enemies are these guys gonna kill me i sure hope not oh sh wait why are these guys shooting me this is not a public lobby uh, i think okay so am i what am i supposed to do huge gold reward in third oh sh oh my god okay so what does this guy do what does he want from me what am i supposed to do with this guy talk to him start job okay so i start my job i'm still starting my job and i don't really see where's my job at? where's my job bro i'm trying to escape this hood bro i'm trying to get out of the hood try to make it out the bronx boys okay so we have conditional buttons here bro come on you didn't even you don't even have an eye level could have had you have to have it here bro so it's eye level like nobody wants to walk look all the way up here i like the custom kill feed that's pretty cool dude come on man like what do these even give you car like i don't really care about a car you could have had like a vault or something you know okay so we're gonna check out this house area and we're gonna go to the bank really quickly maybe i can rob the bank i like how you have the distances there though it definitely like makes the players like more engaged okay you have please like and favorite the map at the bottom that's that's nice that's sweet it's clever i definitely tell you took my advice okay so we have gang rp but why is this house split into two sections here oh uh, these are two separate houses maybe but i don't know why you have like a split down the middle i mean it's just a house though like, i don't know, understand why i'd want to live here there's no sleeping mechanics Let's go check out the bank really quickly overall i'd rate this game like a honestly seven to eight out of ten i like the aesthetic of it like what i would add personally i would add i would get rid of the huge gold reward i'd have it on the top left as like a little objective with the timer so it's not just on your screen because it is really obnoxious and i guess i'm in the bank right now but where do i make the money you know can i walk in here no i can't i'm trying to rob a bank but i just can't you know and that's the sucky part because we're supposed to be like gangster civilians right and i don't feel like i'm a gangster who i don't have any ops on me i ain't got no ties to the bloods the crypts like i'm just myself but we do have a vault here Midas vault yeah we shouldn't have to wait seven minutes for this but like to be honest the game is not terrible overall i'd rate this game at eight to seven out of ten on to the next game all right so the next game that we're gonna check out is by a fan and viewer of mine called fusion called ultra sigma box pvp by the looks of the thumbnail it looks very very promising it's actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie i would just make the text here a little bit more yellower so it doesn't blend in with the background that is all my critique so far but the game has amassed a total player count of 500 players and it's made over a whopping 302 dollars which is something to definitely brag about because when you guys are starting to make maps it can be pretty hard to even make your first dollar but without further ado i love what i'm seeing so far let's go check out your game okay so we are loaded inside of the ultra sigma box pvp what i can see from the get-go is that you did copy other people's box fights and just implement it into like some ultimate edition which isn't bad because you are leveraging other people's success okay so off the top of the screen this is just a whopping sponsorship ad as soon as you go into a box fight you don't want to see like and favorite and why is Gru at the very bottom he should be at the bottom left the rank should be at the bottom where the health is and Gru should be at the top left center what am i looking at so we have this is obviously copied by a person in my discord called inky who made over 100k with his game this is made with cypher pk's brother called junior pk Gru here just has a freeze gun where he freezes people's players why am i frozen right now okay so why can i freeze myself how does that make any sense so every time i shoot i freeze myself that is very very disappointing to see very saddening actually okay so i die here and i'm gonna respawn what is my next power gonna be so it looks like i'm Kesa. lose half speed because you're fat i guess obviously right but yet again the like and favorite i don't want to be seeing that on my screen very very unattractive and unappealing i mean the game isn't terribly bad i'd still rate it like a six out of ten but it's just obnoxious to look at i hate seeing the like and favorite pop up i know i gave you that in dms or on discord but still not really Really the best healing visuals okay so what is my power going to be next time is this andrew tate 2x damage and the bro i'm out of here like and favorite again overall i'd rate this game a 6 out of 10 please make it better move the ranked icons down move the ability icons to the top left center g willikers man anyways let's go check out the next game okay so the next game that we're gonna check out is by a fan and viewer of mine called z and q called pink and red versus blue fall guys i do like the color scheme that you have going on here with the weapons here as well to simplify the new season but we're actually going to a marvel season next time but the thumbnail is really really good i like the blue and the pink it's very vibrant the 
game has amassed a total player count of 1,000 players three hours ago, and it's made over $114, which is nothing not to brag of because this is insane. A thousand players, guys, that's $30,000 a month. I'm excited to check out this game. Fall Guys just got introduced into Fortnite. Let's go check out this game. Okay, so we are inside of pink, red versus blue Fall Guys, and the spawn area is super satisfying. We have the pink mushrooms, penguins here. Honestly, I don't know how you got those in the game. I haven't seen those. You were literally the first person to actually make a game like this, and you have the pink elements of Fall Guys. This is insane. We have the spider mechanics here. We have the lucky wheel here. Wait, can I actually have the FNCX pickaxe? How do I have this? What? Is this cheating? How do I have the FNCS pickaxe? How how is this possible? You can do this in Fortnite? You can have pickaxes that aren't supposed to be yours? Oh, never mind. It's a glitch. Whoa. That's really, really cool though. These are backlings that you can have too. Dude, this is insane. No, this is actually super, super cool, bro. How did you get the exact PNGs and stuff as well? We have a gift box here where you can claim gifts. You have outdone yourself, bro. I can completely tell why this has a thousand players. Wow, man. Fall guys here. We have ability. We have the weapon vault here. Where do I get teleported to though? Oh my. Whoa. What did I just get taken to? Is this like a secret area and level? And we walk in here, but we don't get damaged yet though, which is interesting. We should be getting damaged when I enter the zone. This is an awesome game, bro. Okay, so I do get damaged. I didn't know you could do that with your pickaxes. Did you guys know that? We have these here, the panner items. We have the armored tank here. We can go down and actually become a tank. Dude, this is super, super cool, bro. I'm rating this game a 10 out of 10, man, because you're so early on onto this. There's a reason why this game has a thousand players. We have powers here, but ah, oh, I can't claim my first power though. I have to pay. Maybe this one I can get? Nope, that just resets the superpower. We have the new guns here as well. You have outdone yourself with this game, my friend. I have no clue how you did that. That was super, super cool. This is an awesome game, man. Seriously. Keep it up. On to the next game. All right, so the next game that we're going to check out is by a fan and viewer of mine, a loyal viewer. In fact, his name is Ghosty, and he made a game called Forever Block Wars. Did you make this thumbnail yourself? Because this is super colorful and vibrant. This reminds me of like a Lego City. Hey, commercial ad. Bro, this is awesome. The game has amassed a total player count of only 20 players, and it's only made over $30, but I cannot wait to try this out because I used to love Lego as a kid. I love Lego Ninjago. This is going to be awesome. Let's go check out this game. Okay, so we are loaded inside of Lego Block Wars right now. Can I actually build with Lego? I don't think I actually can. I don't believe so. It says I can build. Wait, how am I building with Lego? What? You can actually build wooden ramps with Lego? I did not know that at all. You can sprint. Can I slide? Oh, I can't slide though, but this is so cool. And I'm Thanos right now. Bro, this is awesome. I did not know you could do that. Can I shoot weapons too? Oh my god. I'm gonna go back up to the teleporters here. Pizza. That's cool. That's interesting. So I guess I'm gonna eat that. And we have the ranks here at the bottom. I can see why there's 20 players playing this right now. I'm gonna go back up to the top though and see if I can actually shoot weapons. Because if I can shoot weapons, oh my god, bro. I just got 8,000 XP for literally respawning and dying. This game is insane. What weapons do we have here? Oh, <gasps> mythics? Dude, I can shoot weapons too, bro. I can shoot weapons too. Oh my god, I can deal damage to builds, man. This is insane, bro. This is awesome, man. Dude, if you guys want me to make more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments, man. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Guys, join Versify the beta waitlist, guys. Versify is going to change your guys' lives when you guys are trying to make Fortnite maps because you can literally do every single thing you guys want imaginable inside of UEFN and Fortnite. We spent seven to eight months passionately working on this project and it's fully available for all of you guys to witness and use today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the last video on the screen. It's been your boy Davey, Davey Davis. Businesses and sponsorships, you can reach out down below. I'm out. Peace.